Welcome back to the collection. This time I've got a much tighter cropped frame. Uh, lights a little different. Uh, heater is still currently on, but muffled hopefully with a mat. It's ridiculous. This is the whole spin on Sega CD. Um, I know exactly which mall I was in when I got this. I'm not sure if it was Electronics Boutique or Software Etc. And I don't know the year. This seems pretty early. There, there are no pictures in here. There's only hyperbolic, like interstellarly hyperbolic wording about how great the Sega CD is going to be. So I imagine this was early. There are only a few titles mentioned and three of the four are from Sega. Um, let me just go ahead and open it. Um, I will read through, whoop, that's the Q&A page. Let me open this up and try and get my hands out of the way so it can focus here. I'm going to try not to stick my hands all over the place because that kept throwing off the focus. See, I'm not sure if that's actually that focused or not. Looks better when I do that. So let me uh, just use my fingers here to hold this down. Maybe that'll help a little bit. Uh, specification, subject to change without notice. I am not intimately familiar with the hardware of the final Sega CD to tell you if all of this is accurate uh, to the release model. I imagine it's not too much different given the way the Sega CD turned out anyways. So, uh, Welcome to the next level. Uh, so that's the technical side. Uh, I, I love the Sega CD for several games. Um, some of them FMV, some of them for their CD soundtracks. Um, but I, I don't know the, the hardware side to tell you. I'm, I'm more on this side, the poetic wordy side. Uh, welcome to the next level, the Sega, the, yeah, the Sega catchphrase of the time. The CD revolution is here, you guys. Over 500 megabytes of disk capacity, 6 megabits of RAM, 68,000 and, 68, and Z80 processors, plus custom graphics and sound chips? Like, why wouldn't you want to buy one? It's so powerful on its own, but teamed with your Sega Genesis? There's no more exciting gameplay experience outside of the arcade. Which, I mean, you could play Mad Dog McCree on it, and that's an arcade game, so that's kind of accurate. Sega CD games feature better graphics and sound. It's just better. We don't have to qualify it. Just call it better. More, wait, more game-playing fun. All new types of games with real video action and audio file sound quality. All right, you know, you give me your your signal to noise ratio, your channel separation, your you how about but how much oversampling does it have? Oh, it's right here, eight times. Plays all of your audio CDs and new CD plus G's too. Wow. This seems like since there are no screenshots, also this seems more like it was like designed to be picked up at like a. Sears or like a JC Penney by some some business dude checking out the electronics section. Like they're trying to sell him on some high-end equipment. Cuz he doesn't need to see the games, he doesn't need to see how much blood the Sega CD version of Mortal Kombat's going to have. He wants to play his CD plus G's. Uh let's see. Q&A. What is Sega CD? Sega CD is a CD-ROM multimedia entertainment system you connect to your Sega Genesis to play Sega CD games and all music CDs all over the world. That's not true. It might actually not play. I think it would play some international ones. Why does Sega CD connect to my Sega Genesis? Th this ought to be good. The sophisticated processing systems of Sega CD and Sega Genesis team up to deliver new levels of entertainment and fun, basically what we said on the last page. The benefits of all this technology? Real video gaming. Faster, better graphics and gameplay. Yes, 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 and audio, file, quality, sound. And unique special effects like ultra-fast scaling and rotation. Not like that wimpy scaling and rotation on Super Nintendo, right? What are the advantages of CD-ROM? The CD-ROM, Compact Disc Read-Only Memory, an acronym that no one ever needs to know what it means, Format is a more advanced development of the digital compact disc, first introduced 10 years ago by Sony and Philips. CD-ROM was designed to allow computers to access the enormous storage capacity of the compact disc. I don't need to tell you that it's over 500 megabytes. 
CD-ROM drives are faster and even more accurate than your household audio compact disc player. Yeah, like 1x speed. It's so fast. CD-ROM discs hold many times more data than even the largest video game cartridge, so take that, Nintendo. For example, a typical cartridge can hold only a few seconds of video information, while Sega CD games like Night Trap are all video. All video! Chopped up into 8 second clips with 64 colors, but whatever, we're not talking about that here. What's the benefit of all this storage capacity I keep hearing about? A Sega CD disc contains more graphics. <laughs> it's just more graphics. More and better sound, and more gameplay depth. The most powerful cartridge games offer only 12 to 16 megs, and there's a, an extra space in there that they forgot to take out. So Sega CD games will always have more to offer. Yeah, okay. I can't even, there's not even a response for that. Yeah, okay. What kinds of compact discs can I play on my Sega CD? You can play Sega CD games, audio CDs, and CD plus Gs. Kids, adults, elderly people, not many people even remember CD plus Gs. They were like karaoke, they're like karaoke discs. If you've ever gone and done karaoke and you have like, not the music video that's on the screen, going with the song and the words showing up, it's like that but on Sega CD with way less colors and lower frame rate. Uh, Sega CD delivers great sound, so hooking your Sega CD Sega Genesis system to your stereo system will deliver both high fidelity sound, I mean, check out the signal to noise ratio, and even more involving gameplay. How do I connect my Sega CD to my audio system? It's simple and quick, just don't worry about it. Just like hooking up any good compact disc player, You'll need a stereo patch cord with RCA type jack. It's so simple and easy, let me tell you the technical terms for the cables that you need from any Radio Shack, and soon as an accessory from Sega, and the manuals from your audio system in Sega CD. All right, you catch up on these and then I'll, I'll start reading. Wow, so far I'm sold. I think I was sold before I even saw this little pamphlet, to be honest. Why is Sega CD so expensive though? Sega CD contains a computer-grade CD-ROM drive, not a car stereo-grade CD-ROM drive, plus a variety of powerful, custom-designed computer processors. I'm surprised they didn't put in quotes right there, the 68000Z80. Just a really, oh, sorry, hit the camera. Just a really drive at home. It is truly the cutting edge of home game systems, with games that deliver new levels of entertainment. Even more, it's a high-quality audio CD player that connects to your stereo system for more great sound and game-playing enjoyment. What does multimedia mean, though? Multimedia is the integration of real pictures, interactive computer graphics and animation on the same screen. Systems that employ multimedia displays are now common in industry, defense, and educational applications. Oh, there's something else. Kids, there's something else you need to know about the 90s. We were dead set on making multimedia a thing. It was the best that we could come up with because we were like, well, what can we do with games on CDs? We can put audio and digital pictures together. And that, that was the best that someone said, call it multimedia and call it interactive. It's a video game, but we also have to qualify it as interactive. Will all Sega CD games be multimedia games? No. Well, I'm sorry about what I just said. While many new Sega CD multimedia games are truly the first of their kind, animated gaming will continue... Animated gaming? Will continue to provide ever-increasing levels of great game-playing fun, as special effects such as those seen in movies like Terminator 2 Judgment Day begin to appear. Future Sega CD multimedia games may begin... May begin to approach the feats that the characters in the best animated games can perform. No space in between that period. In the meantime, even animated games will be better on Sega CD with more levels made possible by the tremendous storage capacity and excellent stereo sound. That's really weird, like really weird wording, animated gaming. I should not be holding on to the table because I'm sure that's wiggling. Is that how they were describing like traditional 2D games? Like every other game on the Genesis, I guess? except virtual racing. 
animated. It's weird. That's a weird distinction that I was not aware of. What software is included with Sega CD? Sega CD comes with $300 of software packed in, including a crappy Sherlock Holmes consulting detective game, some old games you probably already own on the Genesis, and Soul Feast, a game you might also own on the Genesis, but with different soundtrack. Oh, it's a popular arcade sci-fi shooter. Two music discs are also included, Warner's Hot Hits, New Music Sampler, and Rock Paintings, a sampling of the best of CD plus G. Will Sega CD be surpassed by other game platforms very soon? Because I've got a bad feeling about it. Not for years at the very earliest. You've got years before we replace it with the 32X, and then years before we replace it with the Saturn. Obviously. <laughs> The best game designers are all hard at work developing games for Sega CD. Well, like a couple dozen of them. Every month, every month, there will be five to ten new titles appearing. So there will be a lot to choose from for every kind of gamer, especially if you're into interactive multimedia experiences with poorly compressed cartoon clips. In fact, after you've seen movie games like Night Trap, music games like Make My Video, and real video action like Sewer Shark, you'll be really excited about the creative possibilities that Sega CD brings to your living room. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then just a couple more. Um, I think I'll just skip reading these out loud. Perhaps I should wait to see what's next? Okay, but you'll be missing a lot of game-playing fun and new kinds of entertainment opportunities that Sega CD delivers right now! It's like buying one of the first VCRs! New ones may come along eventually, but you can enjoy this state-of-the-art machine with your friends and family right now. Is it complicated, though? No, you just point to the functions that you want with your Genesis controller. It's so sophisticated, it's easy. That's how, that, that's how it works. What software will be available? Everyone in the video game industry is excited about Sega CD, except those other guys, of course. <laughs> They're excited because the Sega CD format will allow them to put more graphics, sound, and real video into a game than ever before. Right now, there are literally dozens of new and improved for CD games on the way to release in the next few months. Improved for CD, that's a great qualifier for we just put a soundtrack on this old Genesis game. Here's a few examples of a Sega game and a Sega game and a Sega game, and then this thing that nobody cares about, and I'm not sure that Mixed Up Mother Goose came out on the Sega CD. I'm pretty sure it came out on 3DO, but anyways, obviously Sega produced. Uh, and here's, oh, there's a couple more. Cobra Command, Make My Music Video. Oh, with Criss Cross, Marky Mark, and the Funky Bunch? And Sewer Shark, of course. Uh, and here's your uh, close-up if anybody's looking for the credits on this thing. I guess this is what I was looking for on the back. 92, 92, 92, 92, 92. So it looks like this was probably produced in 1992. And that's the same year the Sega CD came out, right? I should have qualified. I should have looked that up before I... Come on, autofocus. You can do it. There you go. And this is where the uh, Electronics Boutique Store stamp would have been. Or maybe like a Sega dealer or something. So that's a quick read-through of the whole spin on Sega CD. And obviously this is very small. Um, I don't have a whole lot to compare it to for size, but it's only a couple inches high, so it's cropped down a little bit. Uh, I have a bunch of other Sega CD advertising that we'll take a look at eventually. So look for those videos. Let me know what you think of the quality, the light, the sound the 4K-ness of this video, and I will catch you again when we return to the collection. Thanks for watching.